SharePoint lets users edit documents through a check-in, check-out process, which we'll explain now. As you can see, I have three files in this particular folder. Now, you can open and edit files in SharePoint in a few ways. The first way is if you simply click on the name of the title of the file, in this case, Marketing 1, and you'll see a box that asks you if you want to read only or edit the document. For now, I just want to read the document, so I'll click Read Only and OK. Thanks to SharePoint's close integration with the Microsoft Office Suite, clicking OK will bring you to your latest version of Microsoft Word, where you'll enter your credentials to access the document. Here's the document in Read Only format. Now, if you decide that you need to edit the document when you're viewing it in Read Only, you can by clicking the Edit Document button at the top of the screen. That will allow you to do any edits you need to in the document. The problem here is that we never checked out the document when we opened it for editing, as you'll see here in Microsoft Word, indicated by the Check Out button there. We don't want to check it out, we want to check it back in with our changes. We can do that by clicking this Check Out button, saving our changes, and then clicking the Check In button, which will appear in the same place. You can avoid this confusion by checking if the document is checked out ahead of time. This one is not, so I'll click Check Out and OK to make sure that everyone else on my team knows that this document is checked out. Other than the Office menu in Microsoft Word, there's one other way you can check a document in, and that's by clicking the X in the top right corner, which will come up with this dialog box, where you can type in a description of the edits you've made and click OK to finally check the document in. This way my edits will be chronicled in SharePoint by clicking the Version History button of the document. As you can see, the edits that I typed in are now chronicled, and I can view or restore any version I'd like. I can also edit documents in SharePoint by clicking Edit in Microsoft Word, which immediately opens the document in Word for editing. That's the lowdown on checking documents in and out of SharePoint. To learn more, visit blog.precipio.com.